Hey, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. This is going to be another Let's Play version 43.03. .03. I'm using the Lazy Noob Pack. Let's start playing. I actually did create a world already using advanced parameters. The only thing I changed was it was uh, some sort of um, volcano frequency kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'd sort of like to do another volcano on Bark, but I'm not sure I'm going to if I don't feel it here. Because unfortunately, it does it a lot on a lot of uh, like a lot of them on islands, which I, I'm not a big fan of. Because I want some sort of a water source aside from the volcano. So volcano, water source, and as you see here, that would be, I'd have to make like a, a larger embark area, and I really don't want to do that. So what I'm probably gonna do is just look around for uh, an embark, but unfortunately a lot of these volcanoes are nowhere near the water. I, I don't really don't want to make a larger embark here, because it's going to cause a lot of frame rate problems. Probably. So we want to avoid that. The only other thing I'm really hoping to do is maybe to try to avoid... Now this one's possible. That's pretty close. Is I want... Um, I want, I'd want shallow metal, though, because I want to, I sort of want to avoid going into the second cavern layer. I know probably I'll end up piercing the first cavern layer again, just to try to avoid some of the frame rate problems I've had in some of these more recent let's plays with this. So let's see here if we have shallow for this. There is shallow, it says. Very deep soil clay. This is probably the best spot. I mean, I could probably go searching around again, but we'll have a volcano in the far corner, a water source in the bottom corner. Um, let's see here. Let's take a look at the different modes. We do have goblins. That's fine. We only have two different civilizations to choose from. We're the dimpled girder. Just remember that. Uh, let's see our elevations. Hard to tell. I don't know. I can't really tell on that map. Six, sevens, eights. We're kind of elevated. So that might be down in a ravine cutting through the land, that water source. So I think we're going to do this one. All right. Prepare carefully for the journey. Come on, focus here. Come on, focus. All right. I'm on focus. Skilled. Skilled miner one. Skill Miner 2. Carpenter, Woodcutter type dude. Mason that is maybe dabbling in the building designer crap. And should I have to do something else? Maybe I'll just do our mechanic stuff. Now, one more person to do the all the growing brewing cooking initially we usually get you usually get a lot of people in and do that anyway uh let's see so when it just does some basic stone crafting but this guy will mostly be let's see what i want him to be could have him be like our head military guy i don't usually do a military guy on start but i might do that Let's see here. So let's have him be farmer, wrestler, striker, kicker, dodger. All right, because I'm probably not going to have any really good weapons to start with, so at least he'll have a head start on that stuff. And I almost always start with an appraiser, like a really good appraiser. Proficient will go down one knot. Um, persuader, negotiator, at accurate. I could have him be organizer and a record keeper. Mm. We'll have him be our manager also, so we'll give him some organization skills here. All right, now let's go into. 
Cave Bear. I almost want to take that. I never had one a fort called Cave Bear for. Wow, that's a great name. Fort Cave Bear. The Cave Bear Let's Play. But I'm, I got a feeling like if I was like, you know, for YouTube searches that I'd be getting a lot of unnecessary traffic to this. And I don't know. <laughs> I think I'd rather do something different. So pretty soon I'm just going to take any one here. Silver gold? If only. That's it. Silver gold. Alright. Fortress silver gold. Which makes no sense, but alright. Well, I usually just take the first group name. I see celebrated wheels. We are the celebrated wheels. Yay! We celebrate wheels. Oh, whoa. Wait. No. <laughs> I almost embarked by accident. We want stuff. Alright. Do we want to take anvil right off the bat? Sometimes I like to not do that. Yeah, but what I usually do is I don't bother with any of this wood-related stuff. I can just build this right there. Quivers, we only really need two. Actually, one. I like an extra rope. Bags, who cares? Go down to two. Cloth. Eh. Thread is fine, as is. Go up to... 21 plump helmets. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore where you get an extra barrel when you go to 21 or like one after. Like 31, 41. Is that still a thing? Or do they get rid of that? I don't know. Well, whatever. And what our main food source will be pond turtles. Yeah, let's just give us a lot. Prepared turkey intestines. Yeah, sure. Why not? 21. I don't care about dimple cups. I don't care about rock nuts. Never did. The rest of it, yes. Sweet pods, it's 11. Cave wheat, let's go to 11. Pigtails, a lot. In case I want to make a fiber industry, cloth and clothing industry of some sort, pump helmet, a lot, but, eh, go 31. Now, before we go over here. Two dogs. Because you get too many damn homosexual dogs and cats this day, so you have to take two. Uh, I don't think that should be a thing in this. All due respect. I don't think the animals should be homosexual. Because I've noticed that's a thing. It makes no sense whatsoever. And. Because normally I would take one turkey gobbler, but. You gotta take two in case one's a homo. Uh, that's enough for those. Um, what else do we want? Well, I'm like a no, no. New items. I really just like the variety of the alcohols. All right, give us a bunch of those. 21 each. Now, plump helmets turn into wine, right? Yeah. So, if I had to amp up any one of them, it would probably be ale or beer, since we're making a lot of the wine. So, I guess that's really all I need. Let's see here. Two axes is fine, but two picks is fine, I guess. That's what I go with. In fact, it's just pretty much my typical embark. Sometimes I used to go with pigs. Because I, I like bacon, but no. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Embark, yes, yeah, should we? I'm hitting embark. Alright, so if you want to read that, you can. Strike the Earth, Silver Gold, New Chapter, Giant Cougars, Wonderful. Just what we need, giant cougars, not just regular ones. Okay, so here we are, in-game. Uh, let's see, let's um, use your mouse scroll for this. You can see people didn't know this, but I sort of want to just take a look at what we have around here. So, here's our wagon right here. Let's go down one level, see where the water source is. Yes, that's all I need, as long as I have a water source on here. Because me going into the caverns has always been a disaster. <laughs> Let's just say that. So, uh, I've done it before, but it never works out well. Let's just say that. Um, 
Hmm. So is that where the... This looks like the level where it tops off the magma. If you're looking at the magma over here for the volcano. I'm trying to think, where do I want to puncture into this? Okay. So, first things first. D, T. Get some trees cut. Nowhere near that water, though. I want to go near that. Because that'll unfreeze soon. So we could like, if the staircases can be roughly about here, I could dig in from the front here because it looks like kind of like a natural square right here. So that would be kind of neat. So maybe we'll dig in right here. In which case, I would like just to get rid of these trees just to see. This root system is going to be a pain. That's like a thing now. I hate that, but what are we gonna do? Okay, we're not as long as we're not over water, we'll just uh remove the wagon. Now let's go down to our first layer here. Our first full layer. Alright, mining. Alright. So this is how I get the center. All right. So you go from the far corners and you go boom, boom. Oops, no, boom, 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 boom. These are really just guiding lines. I don't think this is going to be in kind of fort in this level, but. I might actually have my farms on this level anyway. Alright. Oops. Alright. Let's erase those other ones because they are not necessary any longer. So, okay. So that is our center. Let's see if it... How close it is to that. Yeah, it's like right there. So, let's do a downward stairway. J right here so I would I let's see here let's do yeah I, I sort of want it to be like right kind of smack dab in the center of this so we'll dig in let's do actually let's go I usually do ramp all right, so I got an idea. Hold on, hold on. Let's think this through here. Come on, now, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. All right, come on, get rid of this. Hold on. Actually, leave that there. Yeah, let's see here, cause I like doing trap laced hallways, and kind of like, let's see if we go three. Our wagon will go that way. So then I have to put the trade caravan down there. Let's see. No, let's actually do uh, channeling. Boy, it's been a while since I played Dwarf Fortress, to be honest with you. So I'm trying to remember everything. Okay, so we'll dig this some way. So it comes down here. So the trade caravan needs to be three wide, remember. Okay, for people that maybe are new to the game, I'll just mention that. Always make sure you do that. And I always like doing my trade caravans about seven wide anyway, so. So I could do another trap filled hall. Right here. Just like that, and that'll be the entrance into our fort, and my damn chairs give me problems once more. Okay, that'll be a regular in this series. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so that is the fortress entrance. Okay, so it also worked well for a temporary thing for us initially here. All right, trade caravan, two trap-filled hallways, 
There'll be a lot of traps in these, and trade caravan will glue like a long route around, and we'll have cage traps all over the place. Okay, so we know what we're doing here, right? Right. Now, we need to go down the J. No, not J. We get up down stairways here. Uh, going down from this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do that. Just hope we don't pierce into the cavern layer. Actually, I sort of hope we do, so we know where it is. Should I do more? Maybe I should do more, just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So we could like maybe build a wall around this top part too, kind of protect it. Maybe put an attack tower on the top eventually. I don't know. Sounds like an idea. I'm going to unpause it here. Yes, I knew spring was going to hit right away. Oh, hello. What is that? Giant wild boars. Now, I... Oh, boy. I hope they don't attack. Because I know regular wild boars won't, won't be a problem, but... Giant wild boars? Uh, all right. Let it go. Um... Let's put up a woodstock pile close to the entrance here anyway. Don't know why I'm bothering with that right now. Probably a refuse stockpile too on the other side. So is my woodcutter actually woodcutting? Yes, he is. Okay, they, they are doing things. Also, typically what I'll do is let's set up a zone. Hit I for the zone. Put all, our, all of our animals here for now, but it'll be later on, it'll be just be for um, grazing animals, probably. I'm just wondering where these, these uh, giant boars are going to cause cancellations. Possibility, I guess. I do have a military guy, but giant boars. Hmm. I forgot to look at it when when we embarked, but I think it was Untamed Wilds. I'll have to go back and look at the footage. I don't remember. Well, they don't seem to be canceling this guy here. It's cutting the trees, so I guess that's. I guess they're not going to cause problems. As long as magma crabs, I don't care about. All right, now what I want to do is I want to get stuff, all the stuff that we got down in this area here. The stray dog has been missing for a week, meaning probably those things killed him, right? What happened? Can I zoom to him? No, I cannot. Wonderful! We lost the dog already. I, I think we need to get the dogs downstairs. Because the dog probably said, oh, I'll attack this thing. Because it's not just a regular boar, it's a giant boar. Kicked his butt. He broke his head and like, cracked his open like a coconut. So he's all freaking dead. Freaking. Alright, he's freaking dead. He's freaking dead. The dog is dead. Oh. I'm, I am upset. I am. Because I don't want to... I'm going to lose dog already. All right, we'll get rid of these freaking ramps here. Now I'm upset. I'm very upset. See, now they're not causing cancellations, but... But you already killed a dog, so... Wow, that's a big tree. Man. All right, so... I'll leave it paused here a moment. All right, doggies. Actually, everything except for the grazing animals. We'll go down here. Yeah, apparently we, we got to do this. This is a thing already. Okay, so you all go down there. All right, before we unpause, though, we're going to make ourselves a massive freaking stockpile right, right here. The all-in-one stockpile. Alright, let's see here. Uh, enable. 
Furniture, enable. Snow, no. Ammo, yes. Yeah. Mars blocks, no. Gems, no. Finish good, yes. Leather, what? No, not wood, not wood! Alright, we'll go back to that. Uh, disable, okay. Alright, now that'll get everyone moving, getting crap downstairs, hopefully. Like, they kind of hope they prioritize bringing those animals down. Probably should let that go first. See? That dog ran after him. There's proof right there. <laughs> no, doggy. You've been hurt. See? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. You're too brave for your own good. And he killed another dog. See? Ah, oh. we got an injured dog, two dead dogs. Yeah, not good. Well, that dog su survived. He's crippled. You see him moving pretty slow. And we've discovered a magma pool. Okay. An expansive cavern system. Okay. A great magma sea. Okay. That's not good. Okay. No, not good at all. What the hell happened here? Wait a minute. Did something of ours fall into the volcano? To discover all this? Well, this is pretty far down. Oh great, did we lose a guy? Don't tell me. Two, seven, okay, no. He did not fall to his doom. <laughs> oh, a second magma pipe, that is what is there. So we are directly above a second magma pipe. Directly in the middle of it. As you see here. Oh, that's upsetting to me. That means we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, work here to fix this. So we go up two levels. J. Then up. Because I don't want any kind of uh, things coming up, flying up from down there. Particularly flying forgotten beasts. That would be a bad thing. Or anything else that flies for that matter. So we're repairing it. I'll show you how we're going to do that. As soon as we, uh, these guys get to work here. Come on, dudes. Wait a minute. I messed it up, didn't I? No, okay. I've made, I, I, uh, okay. I'm still getting you back in the swing of things. I haven't done before for a while. Cut me some slack. All right, so that is done. Pause. D. Let's see. Remove stairs and blah, blah, blah. Z. Remove those. Okay. B. C. F. Floor. Floor over that. So we don't have an actual entrance way into my fortress from the caverns. All right, now we are down how many levels here? Quite a few levels, so I could do my fortress on this level here. Starting on this level. How many levels down is that? Let's say, let's say it's one, two, three, four, five. All right, five. Hmm. Item blocking building site. It's just suspending construction of the floor. Why? <sighs> See, there's nothing there now. I told you. You moved it to use for the other thing. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? Now, let's just take a look at this cavern system here. I know I already saw a Cape Crocodile in there just a little while ago. 
That's sort of why we don't want to be down there. Or if we do go down there, to uh, kind of do it a little more carefully. You know what I mean? So what is that? Gems? Zircon. Okay. I know it said tetrahedrite up above, so... I just want to make sure. I want to see what kind of metals we have here. Don't see where... Where was that tetrahedrite? No, that's not it. That's tetrahedrite. Okay, what is this? Galena? Galena. Alright. I knew it. I had a feeling it was Galena. I had a feeling. Alright, so this is where the point where I have to start, like, actually laying out the fort. And it's going to be probably starting on this level. I guess there's always a possibility there might still be some soil on this level, so... Hmm. There you go. Guidelines on each level. So we could make this several levels high. Starting from here, two, three, four. Yeah. Alright, so that'll be the layers and when we do do the four, we'll probably have uh, our farms on one of these levels that are soil. So if we start on this level, maybe the next level up will be... Uh, well, I th let's see. I think this is our only surviving dog, too. No, two died. Okay. So I don't even know if we have a mating pair. I haven't really looked. Okay, so they're moving stuff down. So we're going down one, down two. Alright, this will be the farming level. The farms here and here. And as you can see... It's excess from this level, which is going to be a level where we have uh, mostly storage for everything, basically. I only have one right now being opened up for temporary storage for stuff. So, our kind of like our main level. Um, I'll say it's our food level, because we're going to have our, our uh, dining hall here, meeting hall, dining hall here. I forgot what all these things are, but I'll try to remember. Let's see. Um, we'll have chickens, or, or, or turkeys, sorry, will be here. Dog training here. I'm thinking of putting my stills and kitchens here. This will be my lever room, because I want the levers to be relatively close to the dining hall. Uh, this will be our food storage. I might have another food storage up above on that level of um, storage. And this here. Basically, our entire leather working industry. I probably, let's see, I'm going to have the leather worker, or the tanner here, the butcher shop here. I don't know what I'm going to put in here, maybe storage or something. These two, I'm not sure. Probably, let's say tanner, leather worker will be here. I don't know what this last one will be. Storage for leather. Uh, maybe I'll put a loom or something here. Some of the clothing industry partly here. But. That is what this level is going to be, and I have not yet made the rest of the levels. But I think long term, the dwarves will be living along the outside edges of these, of each level. Um, like along the edges. And I haven't yet determined what their room sizes are going to be, that's why I'm sort of waiting. I know in times past they made them rather large, like 3x3s, three but I might go 2x3s, two or 2x2 two two or something like that. I don't know yet, but um, yeah, we gotta let, let these guys do a lot of work. Is this obsidian walls? Yes, it is. Wonderful. So I'm just hoping we don't accidentally tap into anything else here along the way while I'm building this. Oh, and along this, look, going down here, this will be the well room. We'll have wells here. We'll go down. Goes down to here. This is the system I sort of have set up for each of my uh, wells I've ever done. <laughs> and you'll see why. There's a method to my madness here. Uh, this goes down. And I will channel out each level as they're finished. You have to do it one at a time because otherwise they have problems. You'll have floating, floating floors and stuff like that. So you have to do it one at a time. 
And this will go down. It's almost at the level where this is. But I may actually not go all that far down. Just in case. And as you see here as it goes along, this will be the channel by which the water comes up. Comes down, I should say. From above. And we'll dig right up to the edge of this. And sadly, that might will cause some frame rate problems for us in the long run, but we'll see. And we'll just channel down probably in this square here from above. So that'll be it. I'm in this room. Just curious. Clay. All right, so we can make farms in clay. So I'm hoping we get that up and running soon. Because I want to do the... Uh-oh. There's some stone on this level. All right, so how much is this of clay? I guess I should ask. Diorite. So hopefully it's not all diorite. Nope, no diorite in that corner. Just making sure. So I think we'll be safe, as long as there's no diorite over in this area. I might make a little storage area over in this thing, if that's where all the diorite is. That could work. We'll do that in a little bit, though. I want to get these guys bogged down with stuff that's unnecessary. The farm is pretty darn necessary. I want to get going on it right away. My two miners are set up. I went through Dwarf Therapist, and they have only uh, they have basically all their uh, extra labor is disabled. So they should only be doing this. Just mining. And if you would get rid of this one spot here, I'd be really grateful. That would be super. But, well, in the meantime, let's actually get up our first farm. Just at least to get it going here. Okay, so I guess we'll do four by fours. Actually, it's a long room. Let's go freaking big here. See, I hate that when that kind of thing happens already. I already drew in there. Fine. Be that way. We'll get our first farm up. It'll be plump helmets. Probably. I might have to tell Mr. Farmer Dude to go and uh, not do anything else until that's done. A lot of Galena here, which I think... Am I remembering right? That's lead. But I have to look at my little cheat sheet here. I think it is. Galena, lead and silver. Good. 50-50? Or roughly thereabouts? So, we'll have silver. Lots of silver. Now, I know it said tetrahedrite, but I don't know how much we got, really. Probably use tetrahedrite for our weapon traps. Sadly, we don't have any magnetite or, or like, iron. I was hoping to get some iron for, uh... Our weapons and armor, but apparently it's not to be unless we decide to delve down deeper, which I am not prepared to do right now. But I think obsidian is, if I'm remembering right, worth a lot more. So by the time we reach the point where we're um, engraving our walls and stuff, and smoothing it, the rooms are going to have very high value, so that is good. I really wasn't sure. Oftentimes you might have a volcano, but you actually don't have obsidian all over the place, and... In this case, it looks like we have it all over. Is all this is obsidian? Yes, it is. Okay. So it's going to take a while for these guys to dig all this out. Okay, it looks like he, the farmer did get to this. Alright, now. A, plump helmets. B, helmets. C, plump helmets. D, plump helmets. Okay. I actually could build that other farm plot. Stupid me. And that'll be probably all the odd odds and ends. We have a lot of idlers, so hopefully Mr. Farmer Dude will get over here. Uh, and these guys, their time management skills is not, not very good. They're going all over the place, trying to do too many things at once. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm going to pause here because we have too many idlers. i got to get people doing something. But what, I don't know. I might lay out some more levels here. So I will pause and be right back. Okay, after many long hours. <laughs> all right, let's get into this here. Train. Whoa, no, 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 no. 
War Train, War Train. See, I did a bunch of things I forgot to do. Butcher you two. Kitchen. Pump helmets. Do not cook them. Just brew them for now. Drinks. Do not cook any of them. Yeah, those are fine. All right, so stone stocks animals okay i think i got all that done now let's actually go back to the top here i don't let it go again i did a carpenter's workshop here got some buckets going some barrels going just to have some extra and i'll go into beds so i'm gonna have to keep an eye on him the woodwork stuff always goes quickly i have a trade depot being built right here where the animals are but they'll be moved soon so uh oh did I accidentally move those guys down here? Yeah, but you know what? They're going to be able to graze here soon anyway. I might actually have an underground grazing area and get rid of that upper one. Since we do have a lot of soil levels. I just thought of that. That'll be soon. Alright, so this guy's going full time. Uh, he's, I don't know when he's going to get to that. I really don't know. We're going in our first... Area. They're not being very efficient. I have a mason shop being set up here temporarily, um, but he's not doing it yet. I don't know why he's not doing it. I still have two idlers. Oh, and I set up uh, the next level below this. going to be our workshop area. So our workshops will be here. This is going to be the magma forge area. Um, so we'll channel in from below. Fill it with magma. Let's pop some holes in. Should be all set. Uh, let's be storage for bars, metal bars and ores and stuff, I suppose. I don't know what we'll do yet. I'm really going to need probably an underground area for wood storage, too. So off of one of these, I'll probably do that. And that's all I've done so far. Let's just go down. All right, so they are just, these miners are what's holding us up. I'm um, trying not to give them too much stuff to do, but they got a lot to do. All right, so we want to get a few things going here. Mason shop finally up. Just do a bunch of doors. Two tables, two chairs, or I should say thrones. Oh, can't do that one. Because we must set up the meeting area down here. Because I still keep congregating up here every once in a while. How about you? Wow. See, like I said, carpenters go through these things real quickly. We might need to start thinking about cage traps right away, too. A couple bins just to have them. Spiked wooden balls. Because those sell for a lot of money. <laughs> That'll be like... That's kind of an exploit. I, don't, I imagine they're going to have to probably uh, do something about that because it's just woods too plentiful now and they make spiked wooden balls and they're they're worth like tons and tons of money I don't know it's like a cheat in my opinion but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna use it I don't care uh, all right so we don't have a corpse stockpile I'm gonna have one just to have it there you go we we'll start to have to do blocks soon, too, so we can actually lay some flooring and roads down inside of these areas. And eventually, we'll be moving all this below. And just to have some more plots up, I'm going to assign them now. There. How about you? Slowly but surely, kind of throwing up this way, I have an even number. Uh, let's see, what else do we need from you? Going to be needing a floodgate, so I'll let that go. i got to get a mechanic shop up here, I think probably s soon. So let's just do that right now. I'd like to get that drawbridge, a drawbridge up soon too. To protect us from evil outside stuffage, which is right now porcupine and elk birds. I think the magma crabs aren't going to bother us. And what about you? See? I already got through those spiked wooden balls. 
Oh, let's have you start doing cages for cage traps. And thankfully this is a stream and not a river down here, so I don't even need to build a bridge. So our people will never really drown here, so we're alright. Plus if immigrants do come in on this one spot, I won't have to build a bridge to them. That's what I mean by that. Okay. Other thing is I need you to do more beds probably too. I need like a temporary sleeping area below. Maybe we'll do it in this uh, storage room here. I think he's got a couple beds go up. Okay. Migrants! Let them in. Come on, guys. Let's go. A one, a two, a three. -a. Come on. Need more. And they're just sort of sitting here dazed, like as if they don't know where to go because they don't have a, an actual meeting area set up yet. Come on, just come in, guys. Let's go. There's things to do. I probably should actually assign things to do so they actually don't sit there. Uh, what, uh, what can I have? Uh, well, some busy work, like um, move this stone out of here or something, right? Set up a garbage zone. How about right where these two are? Garbage dump. D, B, dump, D. Uh, let's just start clearing out some of this stuff just to give these guys a little bit of busy work to do. There you go, all right? There, unpause. Now. Oh, and I did assign some names for our previous, our original guys. I probably should actually go over all that, but yeah. Sergeant Vicky, she's the one that had all those military skills I gave at the beginning. The Mason, Millhouse, everything is coming up Millhouse in this fort so far, so I figured, you know, the hell. Uh, Carpenter Carp, that just seemed appropriate. We have two miners. Miner Grumpy, apparently he's uh, asexual. <laughs> And Minor Pat, which is like some kind of freaking freakazoid transvestite or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't even go there. Appraiser Chick. Yeah. Nice and uh, unpolitically correct here, as best as we can be. And Farmer Brown. Because, why not? All farmers must be Farmer Brown. So, we should probably pause here again and uh, name our new guys. See how many other freakazoid transvestite freaks or uh, freaks of nature are coming in at our fortress here. Plus, you never know. Might be a vampire. Might be good and nice to look over their some of their descriptions a little bit too for that. A little early for vampire problems, but you well, know, never know. Before we do that, let's actually set up our sleeping area. There you go. It's uh, dormitory. Hey. Uh, build those tables. Oh, they didn't build those tables yet. No, get to the chopper now. Wait, I they finished them. I had two tables and two chairs. What's going on here? Need table. Yeah, I had two tables and two chairs set up. What's going on here? How come they're not available? Are they not in the... Uh... Well, I see one chair here. Two chairs. Sorry, thrones. Be dwarven about it. Hmm. Alright. So, that's that. Tables are not available yet. Until they move them there, they're not available. Uh, let's see, more beds. A couple more beds. A couple more bins. Probably should do splints and crutches. So I didn't actually embark with them. There you go, just to have a pair of each. It's a bunny! <laughs> A little bunny. All right, let's actually see. Did we, did we get any um, animals in on that migration wave? That's the next thing. A doe rabbit. So that might be a pet rabbit. You never know. Just like my channel name, Mad Rabbit. 
Oh, it's a sign. It's a sign that things are going to be good in this fortress for once. Until the frame rates die, then this fort will suck. It will suck bad. On the day that it happens, the fort will die. All right, can we? We have doors now. Maybe we can door this off and actually make a proper meeting area there. Uh, build tables. Do we have them now? Yes, we do. We got the tables. All right, chairs. We got them. And there we go. Proper, uh, well, sort of semi-proper room here. Ah, the mechanic shop is up. Captain, I had work factor too. Mm -hmm. Let's get rock mechanisms. Man, my fingers are not working this early in the morning. Okay. Don't the tables. We'll just let it go with that. I want to get the uh, lever up for the drawbridge. Well, I don't want to bog this guy too much. I think he's also the mechanic. So i got to let him do all those things. And then I'll have him... Actually, probably I should at least designate it now, huh? Drawbridge here. Raise that direction. Make it an obsidian. Right now I'm being wasteful with my, with my obsidian. I should like to make them out of obsidian blocks rather than obsidian. Actually, the appraiser chick should probably be that. And what was she going to be a manager also? I'll sign that now. We have any decent bookkeepers in this? No relevant skills for bookkeepers. We won't worry about that right now. Nose out. Alright, let's set up our appropriate meeting area. Dining hall. Yes, please. And meeting hall. Sure, why not? Because that's the whole point of this, isn't it? Also, let's set it up as a meeting area. As a zone meeting area. Just for the heck of it. Meeting area M. I think you can assign it as a location right now, but I don't think I will do that. Come on, Mr. Mason. I mean, it looks like he's actually using these for parts, right? So, obsidian table. Yeah, he's using it for that. I don't know if he'll use it for the blocks. Will he use it for blocks? Details. Remember that we have that new little option now. Yeah, you can you can do that. I guess apparently it'll just use that. Maybe they just changed that or something. Uh, I think it was in back in version 34. I don't know. Maybe something changed. I don't care. Just just go with it here. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, I got to stop here because I got to take a look at those new guys that came in, and I don't know what they're doing. They might not be very optimized here. Uh, they might have some good skills, too, we can use and utilize. So let me pause here. I'll be right back. Okay, so that was exciting. Well, you didn't get much. Basically, like, f uh, four or five haulers and one, uh, call him Private Nerd. He's uh, got some very low-level military skills, so Private Nerd will probably be in some sort of a military unit in the future, but I'm not going to set up the military yet. I always drag my feet on military so much. Someday I will get that done correctly. Alright, so we got probably some of these freaking things built now, right? So, the, I mean, we can't mechanisms, so we can probably do levers. So let's see here. Well, one whole mechanism. Alright. One whole mechanism. Did he build that bridge? Da 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 da. No, we didn't. That sucks. All right, now let's see. Let's get the guys digging over here. Maybe we'll make an underground grazing area for the animals. We'll be environmentally sound. How's that? There you go. That should be enough. Provided there's no diorite here, which I don't think we will have. I think we'll be all right. 
Build those other plots, man. Come on. Oh, one thing I didn't do. Oh, all right. Let's go up to this here. Um, I'm, 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 where, what do I got to do here? Ah, uh, I forgot what I usually do here. All dwarfs harvest. Only farmers harvest. That's number one. Workshop orders, capital W. Uh, auto loom all thread, no. Auto collect webs, no. Everything else, okay. Yeah. Don't want idiots running into my cavern systems causing problems. So. Heaven to know when they'll actually get to this grazing area for the animals. I gotta get them out of that frickin' depot. Oh, and I forgot all about Mr. Carpenter. Mr. Carpenter, you need stuff to do. Let's see here. We got lots of stuff to do for you to do. Actually, we need we need some stuff to trade. So do a bunch of those for now. I can figure out what else to have you to do. There you go. Get those beds up. Did you finish all the hauling? Yes, apparently you did. So let's reclaim those. And we're gonna do something else now. Watch before we. Yeah, I, I gotta. Before we leave, we're gonna do this. Okay. Um, X. We're gonna get rid of that garbage dump. And we're going to dump the stuff that's in this with a new garbage dump. Garbage dump, we'll put it right where these two are. Dump. Thank you. Whoa. DV dump. We won't do the hallways just yet. It's not very high priority. There, everything from that place will be moved by people that are idle. I'll give them something to do. Oh, we'll a nice big storage area so we can move that stuff out of this all-in-one area. What is this? Something's blocking it because I designated it to be dumped. That's why, and it doesn't like to move it. I don't want to move it now. It doesn't like to be dumped. Just freaking move it, man. I'll put your head up like a coconut. Do it. You can do it. Stop that. Shh. Crap. See? You moved it. What is your freaking problem, man? See? I'll just keep doing this and you will eventually move it. You will. You will. Well, tell me what cannot be done. I don't want to hear no. No is not an answer. Only yes, sir. I'll get this crap done now. Thank you. I am, benevol I am a benevolent leader. Did not suspend the construction of the bed. It's all. It's up now. Stop saying that stuff. Make me want to puke. You make me want to puke, you dirty commies. Oh, hey. There's all the uh, tetrahedrites up here. <gasps> awesome. Which will give me at least some more silver and mostly copper. So we will have lots of silver in this base. And with all these, uh, on the Galena, like I said earlier, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Some die right here, huh? Huh. Unfortunate, but, well, we're gonna do. I don't even know why I bothered not to have these last two spots done. Might as well just do it on this level. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Do it now. Nope. One more spot. Thank you. Oh, and then another spot. I forgot. Hello. Hello, Moshari. Go down there and do that thing. And they are not doing my well. I want my well done now. If it's not well with me. If my well is not finished. Mr. Mason, are you doing things? Mechanic Mason. I think he's a Mechanic Mason. I think he did both. You better be doing either that bridge or... Yeah, you're doing the bridge. Okay, you are doing the bridge. 
Now go get that mechanism going for that lever, otherwise we're not going to be able to protect ourselves here. We get everything in here from above. Looks like it. That spot where we embarked on is no longer uh, occupied by things and stuff. And what about you? Want more things? I guess just make a lot of beds. I don't know what the hell you do. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I thought I said I was going to end this episode. Yeah, because, uh,. Running out of time here. Running out of time to do stuff. I'm just gonna keep recording until I'm ready to go. How are we on guests? An eagle and a magma crab. Fly like an eagle. Blah 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 blah. Okay, wait. Be careful not to say that because you get copyright strike from YouTube. And yes, even for something as simple as that, you'll get a copyright strike. I know it sounds stupid, but you do. If you do it in just the wrong way, in the wrong inflection of the voice, you will get caught. Things will be bad. Alright, finally got the other farm up. So while we're sitting here talking about copyright strikes, let us do what we see. This will be cave wheat. Wait. A. Sweet pods. B. No. Sweet pods. C. Cave wheat. D. I think we'll just leave it. I don't want to get too bogged down with plump helmets. So we'll just have that go. Mr. Farmer Guy. I don't think I can move my animals down here to the underground grazing area yet because that's really not enough. It's not fully percolated. Is that a term? Well, it is now. It's not fully percolated yet on the ground as far as, uh, you know. Getting the crap done on the ground so our animals can graze on the wonderful, wonderful moss from the caves. This is getting done quick. That's good. But sadly, it means we have no work for our people to do. I may need to assign someone else to do the cooking duties and stuff. Which reminds me. Oh, oh, oh. Our lever is complete. <laughs> Captain. Okay. Bridge. Linked. This will be the most awesome bridge ever, because it's ups linked by obsidian stuff. Awesome. Alright, now go do that. Don't delay. Now, build, workshop, let's see, kitchen is what? Blah, 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 Z. Oh, wait, now those darked out ones are blocked, right? So, I want... Yeah, we'll just put it here. To kitchen stills are L. Don't know if I really need two of them, but who cares? I do have one of the guys with a fisher dude that came in. So I'll set up a fishery here. I don't know why I'm doing that, but okay. Unpause, please. Okay, now. Oh, and all this is done. Why why are you delaying this, Mad Rabbit? Why? Now, this was going to be the turkey coop. Right? Right. Okay. Now, need this for the dog training area and where they live. And frolic freely. Both training and that. Uh, I should actually look whether I even have a breeding pair anymore. So I haven't looked at their sex. That'll be kind of rude to, you know, pick up their tails and walk. It's somewhat rude. Build. We want a tanner's workshop. Tanner workshop. Where is that? Tanner shop. N. And the butcher shop, which is you, if I'm remembering right correctly. Yes. Now, all these haulers are basically assigned to, like, a lot of this, those mundane tasks, like tanning and butchery and plant gathering and plant processing. Oh, that's another thing. I need a farmer's workshop. You know what? Let's not do two kitchens. I probably really don't need two kitchens.
I want that farmer's workshop because that is where I'm going to be able to get my pigtails going here. There. And those guys should do it, some of these new holler guys, because they are enabled for some of that stuff. It's going to remember to do a leather worker guy here. I don't know what I'm putting here yet. Like I said, maybe loom. I don't know. I'd like to have all my cloth industry in the same area, so probably not here. I don't know what I would put here. Something. Maybe food related. Something food related. So if I need an extra something or other. Oh, we slaughtered him. Nice. Slaughtered that horse. Just like in The Godfather. Mm. Yes, yeah, I get the beginning of The Godfather and it had that horse head in his bed. I don't know why he screamed. I mean, a dwarf wouldn't scream. He'd eat the damn head. You know? I bet you Johnny Fontaine got that part, too. It's autumn!